Howdy mates, good late morning, how are we all doing? It is Sunday, December 26th, 2021, and I'm visiting a state park that I haven't been to in a little while. This is the Oscar Scherer State Park near Osprey. Now, you could say I'm hiking today basically to work off some of the uh, food that we had yesterday for Christmas. I gotta tell you, our food yesterday that my stepmother, Wendy, made was absolutely delicious. Had some ham, pineapple casserole, uh, mashed potatoes, green beans. I mean, it was absolutely phenomenal. So, Wendy, if this video finds you well, I, of course, once again say thank you. But as part of today's video, I stumbled upon a flower that I'm sure many of you have noticed on some of these walks in, you know, various parks in Florida. So without further ado, let's get into it. So noticeably, as I was walking through this little patch of hardwood hammock, I found this guy right here. You see the flower with the purple tips? This is actually something known as the Amelia sanchifolia, also known as the lilac tassel flower. Or it's even been called the Florida paintbrush, just because the texture of the flower looks very similar to that of a paintbrush. This is a unique flower, as a matter of fact. As it turns out, this particular flower is actually under debate as to whether it really is native to Florida because it's even been found in parts of South America, Africa, and even Asia. So it's it has a very wide distribution. You know, a plant is only considered native if it was actually found here when European settlers made their way through. How ironic. Going back on the subject of this plant, uh, there have actually been several studies as to what medicinal benefit that this plant can provide. So, for instance, in China, it has apparently been used as, so like, for instance, the leaves. The juices from the leaves have apparently been used to help treat conjunctivitis. You know, that's an issue associated with one's gums in their mouth. And uh, it has apparently also been used as, you know, like with the flowers specifically, it's been used in a tea to help with dysentery as well. And of course, there's been other studies too as to whether it can act as an anti-inflammatory, and if it can also increase white blood cell count. So you could say this plant is highly being studied right now, especially in other countries, as to whether these claimed medicinal benefits are really valid. But they also call it tassel flower, too, because... You know, for those of you who have graduated before, you know, you always wear your tassel. And, you know, of course, with a tassel, there's always like a tip. And it looks very similar to it. But oftentimes, they'll only grow maybe two to three feet. And that's about it. So, they are fairly abundant as well, especially in Florida. But this is just a little patch of the Oscar Share State Park where you will stumble upon a hardwood hammock. And of course, with that lilac tassel flower, it is more of a shade loving plant. So that's why you only very seldomly find them in say scrubby or pine flatwoods so they're more shade tolerant or they like partial shade 
but it does also have a distant cousin that I'm sure many of you have also seen, which is called the red tassel flower. The only difference is the red tassel flower, of course, has more of the red appearance. Unlike the lilac tassel flower, it has more of the purple. But yeah, as I've mentioned before, hardwood hammocks occur when really an area remains undisturbed, really. It hasn't been tampered whatsoever. Yeah, it's, it's another gorgeous day. So as a uh, wrap up for the video, I just want to come up here. And as I forgot to mention too, the lilac tassel flower has also been found to be filled with flavonoids, tannins, and among other medicinal substances. And it makes sense because you figure, so this is, I believe, the South Creek. I can't remember the exact name, but you figure since we're right by a hardwood hammock to my left, these waters can become quite dark as they are, of course, filled with tannins. That's what creates that dark dye appearance in the water. But this one is relatively light. So it may indicate that, you know, since it hasn't really rained as much, you know, considering that it's dry season, the water's had a little bit of a chance to clear up. So, yeah. I'll be sure to provide an article that does regard the lilac tassel flower because I'm sure many of you who have hiked, say, at Oscar Share have seen them quite a bit. So, hope you guys enjoy your Sunday and the rest of your weekend. Alrighty. Take care and journey on a journey is that works. Take care, folks. See ya.